Hey everyone, how are we all doing? Okay, so before we get started, everything I say in this video is my opinion, mine alone. Please feel free to do your own research and come to your own conclusions. With that being said, let's just jump into this video, shall we? Okay, so I came across one of Rebzilla's videos last week, I think it was. And he was talking about the Catgirl Manor. Um, so I thought... I would have a look and see if this place really is as bad as he says it is. Now, if you are wondering what the Catgirl Manor is, it's kind of along the lines of the Playboy Mansion. It's a online magazine. Um, where there are some very beautiful ladies in beautiful lingerie with cat ears and tails interesting each to their own I say whatever floats your boat um, and what I found was bad I didn't really find nothing between the years it was founded by Isabel Daniel and a guy named Christopher. Now this Christopher apparently is a piece of work. And even to the point that some of the ladies make excuses for him. So what did I find? Isabel. Also known as Izzy. Which I will probably call her for the rest of this. Very beautiful, almost porcelain like. You know the kind where they're so perfect they look like they they could be China. So she runs the place. And as I say, I can't find nothing between 2015 and 2016. But in 2016, a young girl named Coco was invited to meet them. And she went out there. And she met some of the ladies and was accepted really well. And there was talk of a special guest coming. Now, I'm sure most of you would have heard the name by now, Dali Vanti. Over the last year, he's been a big thing on um, YouTube. A lot of people have been talking about him. So he was a special guest. Now, from what I can gather, he was on his best behaviour at that point. But he did meet Izzy another time after that, where he invited her out for a meal, told her just to wear something pretty, pretty dress or frock or whatever. He picked her up, there was a young girl in the car which seemed rather strange, and he demanded she paid for the meal, the young girl. Izzy asked her to go to the bathroom with her to find out if everything was okay. This isn't unusual for women to ask another woman to go to the bathroom with, it, with them. So it was just one of those things kind of thing. She said she was his number one fan and she had to pay. <clears throat> and they went back and they got into the car. They were going back to the hotel and Izzy realised they were driving past the hotel. To which Dowie Vanity responded, we're just going to have a little detour a sec. After pulling up in a car park, parking lot, the girl was sat in the back with Izzy. tried it on with her. 
and as she did, Darby was trying to climb over the seats into the back of the car. Izzy tried her damnedest to get out of the car and she ran. And she ran two blocks to the hotel. She got to her room where she had a friend. The friend hid her and thank God she was safe. Thank God she was safe. But she didn't pay that courtesy to the other girls. There have been incidents with the girls between 2016 and today. Well, not today, a couple of months back maybe. Where girls have said that this person has done this or this person's done that and She's pretty much ignored her. Until something happened to her. Then the story changed. Then she realises that she's not keeping these girls safe. And now... I'm going to put a shot at the end of this of the website and everything where the forms are. Um, she has a form on the website. Has anybody been essayed whilst under my roof? Are you kidding me? I want the girls to be able to tell their story with their voice. I'm not going to take that away from them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to link their YouTube pages in the description. It is not my place to take their voice away. And I wouldn't want to either. But ladies... Have your fun, whatever way you want. But please, please, make sure you're safe. If you're going to join one of these online magazines, talk to the girls. If you've got some girls telling you that they're getting paid and some girls saying nobody's getting paid, then there should be alarm bells ringing. Because these young ladies, they wasn't getting paid. How you live your life is for you to decide nobody else. And it's for nobody else to judge either. But all I ask you is please stay safe. Izzy, the woman who runs this place. She was inviting people back for after parties and champagne everywhere. But she wasn't interested in keeping the girls safe. The only time she became interested was when she got hurt. And that speaks volumes about a person, absolute volumes about a person. But please spread this word. Make sure no other people sign up to this disaster. Because that is what it is, it's a disaster. Let me just change cameras a second. Okay, so this is Izzy. This was the last video that she put out. Um, 
Let me just check when this was put out. One week ago. I hear you. Next steps. So, this is the video after her tell, telling us what Darby Vanti done to her. And I'm just going to go through this with you a moment. It's relatively short, so do that. Hi guys, it's me. I, as promised, am making the second video. I've not gone anywhere. I did have to take some time to process just because of the emotional degree of that last video and I apologize if why not a lot of people like the background noise was terrible and that noise stuff um if you hear any background noise in this video I just want to apologize in advance of that um it's beyond my control as it were so this video is going to be a lot harder than the previous one trust me background noise is beyond your control I don't understand that Okay. Believe me when I say that I've been spending every day thinking about this in great depth of how to correctly approach this to talk to you guys about it. Um, because what I am seeing with a lot of victims coming forwards about their own personal stories is that it is a, it's a painful thing for women to talk about uh, when men take advantage of women. Yes, it is. And it's even more painful when there's women defending those men. And not listening to these young girls. We are pushed into silence and fear. And I get it, guys. I am now seeing that you have been looking to me in a leadership position um, to protect you, to do right by you in these instances where people, men and women, because women can do this as well, um, do terrible things. And you've looked to me. And even though I believed at the time that I did the best that I could do from where I was at as a human being. Mm. You ignored every complaint. How do you say, how do you sit there in all honesty and say that you did your best to keep them safe? Considering you would have an after party and you would go to bed and leave them alone with the guests. Compassionately, I now see that was not enough. And even if I banned the man involved and removed him from everything, it was not enough because the problem that I'm seeing from this, from the emotional side of it, from the pain of these people, is that they needed more. And so now I'm in this position where it's like, okay, I hear you and I'm listening, and I am listening in every instance, uh, by the way, and carefully considering that we need to be doing better i'm not going to run away from this i've noticed a lot of the men involved in this have kind of been hiding and backing away i am still here i am listening to you i am willing to have these discussions and guess what they are really but you moved away from colorado where it was happening make that make sense please hard discussions to have to have it's not something i would um i'm sure we'd all rather be in a position where things rainbows especially if you're someone like me and you're throwing events and parties we're looking to create spaces for people to have fun in and to have a good time in and it's unfortunate what i have learned in the last few weeks is that there is the the idea of a safe space is a few weeks these girls have been telling you from 2016 that you're not keeping them safe for weeks wow bit of an illusion because my understanding now is that even in safe spaces predators can exist even the people that you love and trust 
implicitly can really hurt you. And people, and in fact, it turns out the people who really hurt you are usually people that you know. It's not so much, and that's not to say that this doesn't happen as well, but it's less likely to be the stranger on the street. The person who does this is usually someone that you know and you love and you trust. And Yeah, that happens a lot. It also happens with strangers on the street too. So... I don't know what you're trying to say. You guys are putting the trust in me as a leader to address the problem to me, knowing the knowledge that I will rise to the challenge on this. Because again, I'm not going to back away. I hear you. I am listening. I understand as a victim myself the pain involved here. And I know now that we need to implement changes. I've made oh, a cool, list cool. Of, of notes here on the side because I want to make sure I address this correctly and compassionately for everyone involved. Number one thing you need to know is that at this juncture, I am now fully in control of this as a company, as a woman. There are no men involved in it. I am not even living in Colorado anymore. And that is not because of anyone involved. So why is that, Izzy? Why did you move away from Colorado if you're not running away from this? In that situation, I made that choice independently several months ago, and that was a personal choice. I want to know in these instances exactly what happened. Um, in fact, the point, because I do believe in implementing change, I think words are not enough. We need to actively be showing that we are we are making the difference. And again, guys, I cannot do this alone. Like I can try, but I am just one little human being, as you've seen through this whole thing, who is flawed. And I admit my flaws and I know it's not enough. So I need your help if we're going to change as a community to make this enough. So I've implemented. So while the girls were asking for your help, you did what? now you're here on YouTube telling these girls who have gone through hell and back that you need their help wow shocking the form that's going up on the website you can fill out if you've ever had an instance on my party friends i want to know about it because i want to be able to hold these men accountable correctly in the way that you need at this juncture but again i cannot know i cannot do this alone i want to learn how to be better through that and i thank you guys for challenging me on this because i know again this is really hard stuff to talk about um, so this, this incident report form is going to be reviewed by women only. It will be reviewed by a team of women that I will be assigning personally. I want you to know that you are heard and that we are implementing those changes. What? You're going to have a team of women. What about the police? What about the law? You're in the States, so maybe the FBI. But you're going to have a group of women looking at them. I know what my answer would be. Hell no. And I almost want to have kind of this symposium idea of bringing these community leaders together because clearly this is not just a problem with my community. I am seeing this on a worldwide scale. I am seeing these problems in the BDSM and the fetish communities. We're obviously seeing it in the kitten play community right here. Okay. We are seeing it in cosplay communities at conventions. And I get that what we're, where we're at as a society is now we're taking it into our own hands. So allow me to at least in this instance to try to do the right thing here and I, I'm not a fan of call-out culture. I want to make sure that is very clear. But I get that at this point... Don't deflect everything. It's happening in here, here and here. So it's no wonder it's happening in mine. You failed these girls. 
Just change them back, guys. So, that was easy. As I said, I'm going to link the girls down in the description. Please do, do go check them out. Listen to their stories. Hear them more than she did. They deserve that at least to be heard. And please, 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 if you're going to sign up to these things, make sure you're safe. Make sure none of this is going to happen there. And that is about all I can say. I'm going to do what I said I'm going to do and stick the names down below links. And I hope you will go and listen to what they say. Give them their voice back. They need their voice back. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.